Hi, I'm Anthony Fury here in studio with Grant Verlaine, CEO and founder of Locomobi World. Grant, before the break, you said your company ready to take on the world. I want to talk a bit more about the innovation and technology behind what you're doing, smart solutions for transportation, for parking, for tolling, for, for automotive, for everything. Taking on the world, that means there's a lot more to come. People are really excited about the future. I know you're a techno optimist. Where are we going with these sorts of technologies? What's next? Um, well, the question first is I'd name the company a world so people would say what you said. Okay, and it was for taking on the world. And, and therefore, we have to be, we have to recognize there's technology in Taiwan, Singapore, China. You can't just be here on a little island and not realize the effects of where you go. And we've done that. Um, what, where we're going with it is, um, first of all, because we feel everything we're doing really is a sensor. Mm. Now, if I use my Google Vision glasses, it's a connect on the edge to our software, our, our portal, which is the management system of the world. Or you talked about payment machines. Although I'm not for them, I built those because until they become obsolete, we have to supply them. They'll be obsolete soon? Yes, I figure next five years. Okay. Um, no different than when Tim Cook said there'll be no iPhones by 2030. I didn't know he said that. Yes. The maker of iPhones said there soon will be iPhones. And there's a reason for that. Very smart guy. And of course, I live and die by their whole analogies of the future, how they grasp what the consumer needs. And, and others too, but the point with them is this. Um, they say, what's next is, there, is wearables. Mm. And what is a wearable? Well, it's almost anything. It could be a service wearable or it could be an implant wearable. So where we see it going is all cars will be smart. Now we've developed software that makes dumb cars smart. And of course, you know, we can talk maybe in conclusion how we're part of Project Era, which is one of the most gratifying Canadian projects that we've ever done in this country. And in short, remind us, what is Project Arrow? Project Arrow was, uh, if it. people remember Arrow, which was a famous fighter jet that we built in, uh, in Canada that they stopped building. So Flavio Volpe said, you know what, we're going we're gonna to do it this time. We're going to call it Arrow again. It'll be the most advanced EV smart car in the world. And we did it. All Canadian technology. All Canadian. All Yeah, had to be Canadian. Okay. So we wrote the, the onboard software, making the car a passport that actually is an app too. You don't pay all your credit card and you pay for things, you just drive. Okay. Um, that's an example of where we're going. But then if you go to wearables, I can't remiss without saying, you got to talk about robots. Hmm. So as you know, Locomobi already issued its first robot. And although people thought, thought I was crazy, um, like most of the stuff we do, when I introduced that robot at a right. conference. What does it do? What does the robot do? Okay, this one, what does it do? Because it's much different than the ones you see in restaurants. Right. This robot is built to be very, very um, heavily built, almost military grade. So it can't be kicked and punched over. It goes up and down the streets. It reads plates, writes parking tickets, helps people with their cars, takes payments, and secures around the building. And that's not what's cool. I know that sounds cool. That was cool already. I know. Well, What's no. the really cool part? It's autonomous. Hmm. So right now, there are lots of robots that run off as central control. I'm the industry monitoring people. So this robot goes on its own. Autonomy learns its shift to what it does. It changes. And who owns it? The person that bought the robot. Not me. I'm not in anyone's business. So you'll see it in the police officers, police officers, so law enforcement, parking enforcement, safety in the city. So we're training it now about how to use crosswalks. So it learns like where the most parking fractions would be. I got to hang out in this area a bit more to Correct. write the tickets, that Correct. kind of thing. And also it's not there just for that reason. It'll help a person, an old person across the street. The parking ticket robot will also be across. Oh the yeah, road. it's going to be an information robot. I'm sorry, I'm lost. So ro you go talk to the robot, yes. you tell him this and yeah, absolutely. he or she or it. Helps you out. I like how you said he or she, because I haven't figured out what Moby is yet either. Okay. <laughs> so Moby is in phase two. So we are partnering with the Barrett Technology Center at Humber College, which is by far the most advanced technology center in the country, which was donated by the Barrett family. And we're on Moby 2.0. So everything that people told me, we're adding to it. And its next release is in September. It's going to change the world. Going to change the world. It has to. Um, not just our world. We don't have to talk about my robot. 
Look at what it's doing in, in, in the medical world. Look how it's helping shortages in places, um, saving people, going places where you shouldn't go, like a deep down black, dark parking garage. Lots of exciting things ahead. When we come back with Grant Ferlane, let's talk about the future of AI, the future of more technologies. I'm Anthony Fury. This is Canadian Innovators.